Hi folks, Exit Rider, hope you're doing well. Now this one is just a quick video because I wanted to tell you a little story about a couple of people that I met at the ABR festival. They were GS1250 owners, BMW GS1250 should I say, I've got to be precise. And uh, yeah, lovely people, I met them at the KTM stand. And uh, they unfortunately were at the ABR festival to go bike shopping because they went and bought a couple of uh, GS1250 bikes at the same time and they booked a holiday to France and uh, they only had the bikes for two weeks and the second week they pulled up in the hotel the first night of their trip away Now bearing in mind that the bikes were um, enclosed behind a metal gate and I'm talking a big industrial metal gate and uh, yeah they went to bed that night the bikes were in front of their hotel window only about 30 um, 30 foot away no it's probably about 40 40 foot let's say between 30 and 40 foot away from the window I did see the pictures this is a true story by the way and um, and basically woke up in the morning and both of the bikes had gone now bearing in mind they still had the keys bearing in mind that the bikes were keyless ignition and uh, it was a very very secure place that's why they they chose this place to stay so they thought they would uh, get up and have a look round and what these people had done well, they they uh, had taken off the big metal gate and I'm talking it was a big industrial sliding gate you know like the big security gates that you get and what the hotel didn't tell them and I'm not saying this is the uh, situation here of course but what the hotel didn't tell them is that the in behind the hotel where they were not staying they couldn't see that part of the hotel there was a travelers camp that had come over from wherever they come over from and uh, they traced the tires they could see where the, the bikes were wheeled in behind um, the hotel across the grass you see the, the two tire marks going across and then it hit tarmac and uh, off it went into the distance so Obviously, I mean, that's, what's that, 45 grand square for bike there, I expect. Absolutely gutting, as you can imagine. The moral of the story, actually, the point I wanted to get to, was that they were saying that BMW were absolutely amazing throughout all of it. They tried to track the bikes, um, even though they didn't have trackers, so to speak. But they, they'd done everything they could to try and get the bikes back for them. And they even went to the point where they had all the parts for each individual bike listed. And they were able to uh, cancel those part numbers. So in other words, if those parts turned up on eBay, for example, then it would mean that as soon as uh, BMW flagged up these parts, then they would be able to trace them and trace them back to the person who was selling them. So two things with that story really. First of all, no matter what you do, whether it's uh, um, keyless ignition or um, having you know bike locks on your on your bike or putting your twenty thousand pound three hundred kilogram bikes in between in behind a massive uh, great big security gate, and even though you're in your hotel and you're only you know a matter of 30 foot away from your window if the bastards want to get it they will and that is a classic case of they couldn't have done any more than what they've done you could argue they could have put a chain around it that I, I didn't even find out if he did put a chain around it but uh, at the end of the day it couldn't have been more secure than what it was why am I going down here? <laughs> It's on autopilot then. 
All right, spin round and go back. Yeah, so they couldn't have done more than what they had done there. But as I say, the important thing, two important things there. First of all, if they want to get it, they're going to get it. Second thing was that BMW, although they're expensive bikes, the servicing is, and parts are ridiculously expensive as well sometimes. You can't fault their service. Their service is second to none. Now obviously it all depends on individuals, but most of the time the people are, are really nice down there as well. I mean, certainly when I go down to Plymouth, um, the guys down there are, are really, um, you know, they couldn't do enough for you. You know, offer you a coffee. You don't get that in any other dealership. Offer me a coffee. And, uh, yeah, sit down, have a chat. You know, genuine chat, not just one just to, you know, pacify me. Come on, let's buy a bike. But, yeah, they were really impressive the way that they dealt with that situation. And, as I say, they labelled all the parts. And if any parts come up, or they get traced, then they're going to be able to um, trace them back, hopefully, to wherever they were, were sold, and hopefully there'll be a, a chain reaction there. But yeah, 45 grand's worth of bike next. Anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about. Thanks for listening, and I'll catch up with you soon. Cheers.